Hello, student geniuses. Now that I have your attention, I would like to explain in a little bit more detail what the BHS Help Desk Individual Learning Endeavor is all about and what is due this coming Friday. The Individual Learning Endeavor is based off of Google's 20% Time Project where employees are given 20% of their time to explore a passion project. And this is exactly what you will be able to do in Help Desk. The first step in completing your ILE is to establish SMART goals. SMART is an acronym for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, Timely, and Tangible. If you plan to take any sort of business, marketing, management, or sales courses in college, I can assure you that you will be exposed to SMART goals at the college level, so you're getting a jump start by completing this project now as a high school student. The first step in establishing your SMART goals is to ensure that the goals are specific. Having a specific goal has a much better chance of being accomplished than one that is broad, general, or too vague. So think of this as answering the five W's, the who, what, which, why, when, and also the question, how are you going to accomplish your ILE project? So in your presentation, I'd encourage you to use words such as create, design, build, implement, make, produce, etc. But at the same time, you want to make sure that your goal is not too complex. So keep it really, really specific. The next step in establishing a SMART goal is to make sure that you have concrete criteria for measuring progress toward attaining the goal. So ask yourself questions like, How many? How much? How will I know when I have achieved my goals? You'll want to measure milestones that you reach as you work towards the overall project goal. And I'd encourage you to use some sort of tracking app or a web tool. And in fact, I think a Google spreadsheet would work really well. And be sure that you're regularly updating the ILE section of your personal blog. Next, you want to ensure that your goal is attainable. This ILE project should challenge you and possibly push you to your limits, but at the same time, it really needs to be a project that you are capable of completing. So you'll want to ask yourself, do you have the resources you need to accomplish this ILE? Perhaps you need a mentor to help you through the process. The other big question that you'll need to answer is, do you have enough time to accomplish this ILE? I'd encourage you to pick something that's important to you, and this is going to make attaining the goal more of a reality versus something that is just a fantasy or something that's completely unrealistic. And that brings us to the next step in establishing our SMART goals. Realistic, results-oriented, and even relevant. You'll want to select an ILE that you're not only capable of achieving, but you're willing to achieve it and this will ensure a greater chance of getting this goal accomplished. Are you willing to make sacrifices in your life or your schedule to achieve the ILE that you established for yourself? Make sure that you're honest with yourself. Keep this relevant to your life. Consider a project that will benefit not only you, but the BHS community as a whole. And it can be something that you're already interested in and already a part of. So any clubs or athletic activities activities or organizations or community involvement that you're already immersed with could easily transition into an ILE project for this course. The next step is to make sure that your goal is timely. You'll want to have a clear time frame for the start and end times of the ILE. If you set some sort of urgency, Um, you will have more motivation to get this project completed. You'll also want to establish some sort of schedule and try to stick to it. So if Monday is going to be your ILE project day, then stick to that and try not to veer off that schedule. And lastly, we have tangible. At the end of the ILE project, I would like you to present either a physical or some sort of digital product as evidence that you did attain your goal. So it's important that you do track those milestones, take photos, write your blog posts, and gather all the evidence to prove that you did in fact either achieve your goal or come close to it. 
and be prepared to explain if you didn't achieve the goal, what were some of the obstacles that prevented you from doing so. For this coming Friday, for the SMART goal presentation, you can use any app or web tool that you want. So I have really no hard and fast guidelines or rules on which app to use when you do your presentation. The one major requirement that I do have for this Friday's presentation is that it is visual. Keeping in mind that the presentation will be linked or embedded to your blog, it's really important that you use an app that can incorporate animation or sound, images, and video, such as this presentation that I've created. I am using Explain Everything. The video in the beginning was created with Powtoon, and all the images that I gathered were from Haiku Deck. So I'm hoping this serves uh, to you as a model of something that you could create, and I'm sure you're going to end up creating something even better than this. Many of you have already started your ILE, and you already have a topic picked out because you've heard quite a bit about it, but this is your first formal introduction, and the SMART goal presentation is Friday, and it's sort of your official announcement to me and to your peers and frankly to the world as to what you'll be pursuing. So as I mentioned earlier, the ILE could be something of personal benefit to you, but you could also think on a broader scale and establish goals for a project that could benefit the entire Burlington High School community. So don't be afraid to think outside the box and think big. And you can count on me to serve as a mentor for you if you need any assistance with a larger goal. So don't be afraid to ask. The other aspect of an ILE that I really want to encourage you to think about is your connection to an existing club or organization. So again, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. If you're in robotics, if you're in student council, if you're in the TED club, Take something that you're already doing as a member of one of those organizations and parallel that into this ILE project. You could also start something brand new, raise funds for a cause that you're passionate about. Um, and finally, you could partner with a peer, somebody who's in the help desk and in your period is the ideal situation. But if you have an idea that will benefit the community and you need assistance and you have classmates in other classes or peers that w will assist you, feel free to collaborate with others. That is totally acceptable for this project. And again, to wrap this up, I'm really excited to see your presentations on Friday, but more importantly, I am excited to hear exactly what you plan to pursue and share your goals and your plans with the world through our blogs. So please uh, get started right away. And there is no specific length on the presentation. I know many of you may be thinking that, um, but I would just encourage you once again to use the SMART goals as your outline and make sure you address each of those elements. I Hope you have a great week and please contact me via classroom if you have any questions as you pursue developing your presentation.